The deadly combination of driving and alcohol or drugs has killed 130,000 people in the last decade. Just imagine an entire American city the size of, say, Topeka, Kansas, becoming a ghost town. That's the equivalent of how many people are gone in just 10 years, needlessly and forever. During that same period, traffic deaths from all causes dropped, but the percentage of those killed by substance-impaired drivers has remained unchanged, stagnant. Millions more have suffered serious injuries, while the lives of families and friends also are changed forever. It is now time to energize our efforts and make real progress toward eliminating substance-impaired driving, just like we did in the early 1980s, when grassroots action flourished, tough laws were enacted, and our behavior as a society changed for the better. The NTSB has been focused on this deadly issue for over 40 years and made more than 100 safety recommendations, addressing sobriety checkpoints, interlock devices, DWI and drug courts, electronic monitoring, and much more. By the year 2000, highway deaths related to substance-impaired driving dropped from half to a third of the national total, and it has remained there ever since. Many of the NTSB recommendations have been implemented over the years, but the board has not produced a new one on substance-impaired driving in more than 10 years. Today, with more than 10,000 people dying annually in impaired driving crashes, this is the single greatest killer on America's roadways and across all modes of transportation. It is clearly time for a closer look at what needs to be done and actions that will put the country on a path to end impaired driving deaths. This is a national tragedy that affects everyone, and it is made worse by our complacency to accept anything less than zero deaths and zero injuries from driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs. With so much progress in other areas of highway safety, why are substance-impaired driving fatalities stuck at one-third? And what needs to be done to reach zero? These questions demand answers and are the reasons why the NTSB is holding its first ever forum on substance-impaired driving. Reaching zero, actions to eliminate substance-impaired driving will be held May 15th and 16th in Washington, D.C. Representatives from academia, research and advocacy organizations, industry, and state and federal agencies will serve as panelists for the NTSB to gather the latest information on the most effective tools, technologies, and practices in the fight to eliminate impaired driving. There's no cost to attend the forum, no registration is needed. And you can watch the webcast live or get more information at our website, ntsb.gov. We must identify the actions needed to reach zero. Death and injury from substance impaired driving is preventable, and just one more life lost or ruined is one too many.